tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Johnson. Johnson. TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! What's up? Hey guys, we're back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine, episode 10, season two, The Pontiac Bandit Returns. I'm your host, Kelly McInerney, and I've got my awesome co-host. Hey guys, it's Michelle Fee. Yeah. Kanika and JJ are at a ta- MIA, but they'll, they're on the scene. They're doing the crimes, they're, or looking at crimes, you know, Brooklyn Nine-Nine stuff. You know? Yeah, you yeah. know, they're not breaking the law or no. anything, no. No, no. <laughs> um, but it was I, the holiday episode. Pretty fun. Pontiac Band is back. Craig Robinson, mm-hmm. Doug Judy. It's always fun to see him. Uh, but let's get into it. Let's start off All with right. Amy, though. Okay. Um, how it's the, the holidays. Captain Holt's like, no presents for real. This, You know, mm-hmm. I don't like presents. She just can't take no for an answer. Well, especially when it comes to him, she can't. She yeah. always, always, always has to, like, do something for him. Mm-hmm. And so instead of spending money, because last year she got him a very expensive, like, racket yeah. thing. I don't know what um, it was for. Yeah. Kind of like tennis, but I guess racquetball? I Maybe. Don't know. I don't, yeah. I'm not a sports person. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Yeah. Um, and so she's like, all right, I'm not going to spend any money. I'll just spend all my time making a scrapbook. Mm-hmm. Typical Amy type thing, I feel yeah. like. Uh, but in doing so, she finds a mistake in his career. Which uh, she's not sure how to go through with being like, hey, mm-hmm. you mess, might have messed up. Um, the the Brooklyn the the Brooklyn um, bomber broiler broiler. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, he's a, he was a guy that lit a bunch of fires, but mm-hmm. apparently he didn't lit, light them all. Yeah, I think did she say he he was uh, charged for five fires, but he only lit two of them. And not the other thing. Yeah, I know. He didn't do three of them. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so she's not sure what, how to do this. Do this. So she goes to Terry and asks, um, <laughs> and asks him for some advice. And he's like, see, this is what happens when you, um, <laughs> this is what happens when you, um, you know, when you try and do stuff. Like when you try and do gifts, you instead of making him happy, you're gonna mess, you're gonna make him angrier, you mm-hmm. know. And um, she's she ends up telling him though because you can, it, it's more important to you know go like tell like just the tell truth. Him. Yeah, yeah. I actually didn't think he would take it that well. You know what I mean? I yeah. thought he was going to have a different reaction. I thought he was going to be a little upset that she looked into his past and got him that gift. Mm -hmm. But he was actually like, oh, like, thanks for telling me. Oh, okay. I thought so, too. I thought he was going to be angry that she went to making a gift for him because, Mm -hmm. once again, he had to, like, you just can't not give me a gift. You know, I thought he was going to be more angry. But um, instead, he kind of twisted around, which kind of made sense for Captain Holt in mm-hmm. that, like, you know, I don't like gifts because I don't like brown nosing. I think of your gift as you telling me that I was wrong because that's the opposite of brown yeah. nosing. Um, and I want you to help me out. And so, I'm not sure, was she sarcastic about more work? Because they no. said, no, I think, right? Yeah, I mean, as, like, I guess the way she said it, it sounded like it could have been car- sarcastic, mm-hmm. but I thought she was genuine about it. Like, I think it just had to do with the fact that it was about Captain Holt and that she he asked her specifically to look into, you know, these past crimes that he like did before and I think she takes that as a oh yay, like you like me and so yeah. I'm definitely going to do the work for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'd be cool too because maybe we'll see more of them uh, mm-hmm. partner up again. Yeah. Yeah, and she's all she'll be all jazzed about that oh, yeah. because, you know, it's her idol right there. Her role model. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was a kind of... I liked 
I like that because I was like I said I was expecting him to be angry, but mm-hmm. I liked that it kind he kind of turned it around. Like no, I'm not. I like that gift. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really cool, and I liked how. You never like the word peruse was ne- uh, that has never been funnier. Yeah. Because of him, I will not peruse. I actually have never heard that word like used before, or like yeah. I have in a song, but it's like mm. no one in real life ever uses that word. You <laughs> yeah. know, yeah. so it was funny. Mm-hmm. And moving on, uh, the main storyline I feel like was the giggle pit, pi- giggle pig storyline because mm-hmm. in the beginning we see um, Jake dressed as Santa which is like one of like the best openings I feel like yeah. that they've ever had um, because they're trying to find the ba- uh, the bad guy the thief or something mm-hmm. so he's scoping out the street he sees Doug Judy yeah gets him so and in a in a tree a uh, place. So oh, yeah, in a in a place where people like in a tree lot. Yeah, tree yeah, lot. Yeah. tree lot. Yeah. yeah. And so the trees get on fire and there's a family and he's like this is what happens when you are you're not a kid. It was like I so- wish they like cut to their reaction just yeah. to see what the kids would have like you know looked yeah. like. It was hilarious. It was so epic and like such a great like boom. This is the holiday episode, you know. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah. Um and so he's all happy that he finally has Doug Judy. You know, he's not going to slip through my fingers yeah. this time. I'm going to make sure. Uh, or is he? Uh, um, but Doug Judy, he's always has a plan. You mm-hmm. know, he's always up to something. You can't, can never trust him. Um, and did you think that Jake had him? For, like, did you think that he's going to get away at the end of this episode? Before? I wanted to think that he had him for like that like a second but mm-hmm. then I knew I mean he got away before you know and he's not a trustworthy guy so for them to give him I guess kind of that freedom to stay at a hotel and stuff I was like yeah no he's gonna get away again this time yeah yeah it was especially because once he said I'm gonna make a deal I kind of knew because Rosa was working with Jake mm-hmm. I kind of knew oh he's gonna know something about giggle pig yeah and he did he knew the main, the head honcho. Yeah, the guy they were looking for. Mm-hmm. Set him up uh, to get Tito. But I don't, d- did he love Rosa that much the last episode? I don't remember. I can't remember. I think he like had, he was like infatuated with her when him and Jake were like paired up and working together. Mm-hmm. But I didn't think it was like that serious where he would remember her, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Uh, I just thought it was funny when he was like, Rosa, Rosa. Yeah, I don't remember singing to her. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember your last name. And then he said Diaz in like oh, yeah, a few right. sentences after. Yeah. Um, but I thought that was really funny, especially, I just wanted her to break, though, mm-hmm. you know, just to like get a kick out of it. But yeah. she's just stone cold. I don't know how she does it. No, I don't know. I'd be laughing all the time. <laughs> a lot of cutaways, like yeah, they must do it different different times. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he does get set up in a fancy hotel. They have they him and Jake are sitting in robes. It's all super funny, and then they finally meet Tito uh, Ruiz. Mm-hmm. Rose is playing his wife. <laughs> yeah, and his security, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And she, she's like, I, he's a great lover, I'm pregnant, but stone face? Yeah. How do you believe that? Like, I'm, I don't know. She was just really great when she did that line. I was just like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't. I didn't know if Tito was going to believe them because of how she said it. That's what I felt, yeah. Yeah, so I thought, oh, no, like, this is, this is it for them. But mm-hmm. it wasn't. And then, um, then Jake, as... Um, What's his? What was his name? Do you remember? But he Dante was, Thunderstorm. Yes, that's there it. you go. Yeah, and he with the bang bangs. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was like so fake. But I don't know. I he guess believed it. I guess he trusted Doug Judy as long as he broke into this car, and instead of Jake was like, "No, I'm not letting you go by mm-hmm. yourself. I'm gonna do it with you." Yeah. Instead, he had to do the car, break yeah. into the car, and it was really funny that they were. That um, Doug was saying like how you how he dances. Yeah, and, and it it, like he was teaching him how to do it. I didn't think he'd be able to do it. Yeah, that quickly too. Yeah, two minutes. Yeah, and he's like, I only need one. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and so they break into the car, and they're like, All right, I'll work with you. They uh, go to show him, show the t- the guys his I guess drug ring. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, like where he makes it. Yeah. Yeah. And almost as soon as they get there, like a garbage 
truck slams into the thing. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not the NYPD, but the NYPD come in too. Yeah. So is that because that there was? What do you think is is it because there was a big accident? So like, oh, we got to get him before he leaves. Or? I think. I think what it was was they were probably like they probably had a GPS on them. Mm -hmm. So maybe when they were in the car driving there, like maybe Rosa like you know called the department and was like, hey, like we're going to the warehouse yeah. or whatever. But when the pickup truck like ba or no the garbage truck backed into the into the garage, I actually thought it was them. That's what I thought too. Yeah. yeah. But then when she said no, that's not us. Like I was like, oh no, like. Here yeah. we go. Like, this isn't going to work out. Yeah. I thought it was another NYPD, like, another chapter. Yeah, like chapter someone else. So, yeah. yeah. Because that when they were saying NYPD, NYPD, when mm -hmm. they were coming in. I don't know. But we find out it's Kyle, uh, Doug Judy's, like... Accomplice. Co co yeah, accomplice. Yeah. And he gets away. Uh, Jake has to decide, like, do I want to get Doug Judy? Mm -hmm. Or do I want to get Tito, the main, you know? Yeah. So he ends up getting Tito. Do you think he made the right decision? I think so. Yeah. What do you think? I think so, too. I don't think anyone else would have known what he looked like except mm -hmm. for Rosa, and she was already a little bit preoccupied. Yeah. So I thought he made the right decision. Or decision. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to get Doug Judy again. Yeah. He's going to come back. Yeah. I think because, like, Giggle Pig, Pig is the more important issue at hand. Yeah. You know, Doug Judy, he just kind of... Robs cars. Ro yeah. Yeah. And also, it gives us more time to see Craig Robinson again. You're right. Because he's super funny. You're right. Um, yeah. And that was really, that was a really fun storyline. I liked, especially at the end, when the, he sent a video to him yeah. <laughs> yelling about an omelet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, and then the next storyline, the last one was uh, Gina and Boyle are teaming up again, but mm -hmm. not in that kind of way. Yeah. They find out that their parents... Are taking things more seriously, yeah. With a gift giving thing, yeah. I didn't think it was gonna get that far. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, it was just a one time thing. I didn't realize that they had connected on a deeper level and are exchanging gifts. Yeah, especially. Well, I was on Gina's side too with the with the scale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was going to have a different reaction when she got it. I mean, what woman wants a scale for Christmas? Yeah, unless you're like super f fit. Yeah, into, into like health and yeah. fitness. And Sandra stuff. Bernhard doesn't seem like the type that's yeah. into that. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> but it, I thought it was really funny how she used her fancy nails. Oh yeah, <laughs> and she Instagrammed those nails. I think today. Oh, she did. Yeah, just and just hashtagged it Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh. So you guys can see an up close photo of them. Well, they looked really cool. Yeah, there's like snowmen on them and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's really fun. Very Christmas and festive. Yeah. Uh, so they go to this. They're they're like, all right, let's watch their um their relationship crumble because mm -hmm. once he gives her this that gift, that's so evil. Yeah, <laughs> so evil of her. But I mean, that's her. But yeah, yeah. you're right. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, side note, I loved her. Her, her different surprise faces, <laughs> yes. like bewilderment, disbeloving, and the sparkle. Spark yeah, the spark. What was it? Sparkle surprise. Sparkle surprise. Real one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. So funny. Uh, but apparently, it didn't break up the relationship, and they're moving in together, which is super fast, right? What yeah. do you think? It's a, it was a huge. They just slept together for yeah. like, okay, maybe like two weeks ago. But or maybe three. like Halloween. Yeah. But even then, that's like a month yeah. or two. Yeah. That's just too soon. No. I, I, but I, I guess because they're older. That's what I was just yeah. going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Desperate times, man. Like uh, right. how Gina said, <laughs> gift giving, that's like third base for old people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. It's so uh. funny. Uh, so they're kind of bummed about it. Gina walks away, grabs somebody's wine, and just. <laughs> yeah. Is Typical Gina. Yeah. Gina. But the next day we find out, oh, no, like, she's okay with it because now she has a purpose in life. And they're going to start uh, trying to break, break up. them up, yeah. yeah. It was a pretty funny episode. It was. Yeah. It was a good, like, holiday one to get everyone ready for the holidays and also mm -hmm. to, like, go on that break, maybe. Is this the last one before their break? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know if they're going to have two holiday shows. It doesn't make sense. True. But I don't know why it's this early. But. Yeah. Well, I feel like last the first seasons was a lot better. I like that one more. Yeah, the one with um, Captain Holt's Christmas party or whatever. Oh yeah, that was yeah. funny. Mm -hmm. 
That was great. But this one was I like this one was good. I like uh, Craig Robinson though. I think I think he's always funny. Yeah. And how he just I just loved how the the garbage uh, just drove away backwards, but s- like slowly. Yeah. Not even that fast. They're not fast at all. Yeah. Well, yeah. And he's escaping still. Just too funny. Well, poor Jake. Mm-hmm. He'll get him next time. Mm-hmm. It'll happen. Yeah. But it was a fun. It was a fun episode. Not much. I think the only well, a lot of it closed a lot of storylines. Well, the giggle pit, pit mm-hmm. one and opened up a new type of possible co- one. Yeah, with uh, Gina and um, Boyle. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna get back together? I don't know. Here, let's move into predictions okay. and discuss it. Okay. And now you're after Buzz TV predictions. So, what do you think? You think they're gonna? Um. I think they will. Yeah. I kind of feel like them getting together to break up their parents will probably bring them a lot closer together, and they'll want to possibly like explore their relationship. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like Gina's over it, though. You think so? Yeah, I feel like she... I don't know. I, and she's not... I don't think she's an open person, mm-hmm. where she's not gonna... She doesn't care about you. She's not, yeah. she's not op- open to exploring about relationships. True. And maybe she's just going to focus more on just breaking them up. Mm-hmm. It'd be funny, though, if Boyle, like, kind of feels for her. Like, let's get back together. And she just denies him. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be funny. Uh, I hope it's, like, it'd be funny if it showed, a, like, a, in a future episode, a bunch of different ways that they try and break them up. But instead mm-hmm. it just either makes their relationship better or, yeah. like, just fails at breaking them up. Do you think eventually, though, they will break them up? I think that might happen. I think it might. Mm-hmm. Or the opposite. Or they'll get married and it'll be oh my super God. weird. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I feel like the way they're going, they're kind of speeding things up. Yeah, I mean, they're moving in together. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Marriage and maybe they'll uh, a, a adopt think, a kid. I was like, I don't think they can have kids. They can yeah. have kids. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you have any other predictions? Um, well, I think that now that uh, Giggle Pig is over and done with, mm-hmm. maybe Wunch will like throw another like fastball at them and give them a harder like drug case to deal with. Yeah, that's a good one. I ne- I forgot about her. Yeah, actually. yeah. I did too until the very end. I was like, what is what is uh, Rosa going to do next now that it's over? You know? Yeah, especially now that she's got experience leading mm-hmm. and f- succeeding at leading. Yeah. You know, it, uh, they got the Giggle Pig. And she was so happy. That was, like, such a different side to see of her. You know, like, she was like, I can't stop smiling. I don't know how people do this with their faces. (laughs) So funny. I love her. I think uh, Sophia comes back, too. Mm -hmm. But I think it might be, like, the breakup episode. You think so? Yeah, I feel like maybe Because she's only on there for three. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's deduced it that way. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, But, yeah. Uh, Do you have any news and gossip? I do not. But do you? I've got a really quick one. Uh, just that Joe Latrulio was on the Nerdist podcast mm-hmm. this past ep- uh, this past uh, week, and you could check that out on um, iTunes or I think Nerdist.com. He, uh, Chris Hardwick interviewed him. It's pretty cool. He talked about beef and a little bit of this in the '90s. Talking mm-hmm. about the '90s, but yeah, it was fun times. Awesome. But yeah, uh, I, hopefully maybe we'll see each other this the rest of this year. If not, we'll see you guys in uh, 2015 with more episodes. Yeah. yeah. Where can uh, we find you on the internet, Michelle? They can find me on Twitter and Instagram at underscore Michelle Fee. Yeah. And you can find me, Kelly McInerney, at uh, Twitter and Instagram at Holly Weirdo. Thanks, guys. See you See next you time. Later. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.